Alright guys, we're back and we're gonna do a tutorial today. Uh, I promise I put this up on downforsound.com and this is gonna be how to set your gains on your amplifier using nothing more than a multimeter. Now the things you're gonna need for this are a multimeter uh, and also a tone about 60 Hertz. Uh, some people like to use a negative 5 dB tone but a 60 Hertz tone generally be good. Alright, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is Disconnect your speaker terminals from your amplifier. You want to disconnect all speaker wires. You also want to make sure that your crossovers are set to allow a 60 hertz tone to come out of your you know, amplifier outputs. So your low pass frequency is going to want to be opened up quite a bit. Uh, Alright, so let's get this started. So you want to set your amplifier to AC volts. Right there. You're going to go ahead and place your positive terminal into the positive of your speaker on your amplifier and your negative terminal on the negative on the amplifier. So you'll go ahead and hook those in and you're going to go ahead and play that 60 hertz tone at your maximum listening volume on your head unit without distortion on the head unit. So not absolute max on the head unit like 100 out of 100, but your listening volume. Mine happens to be 25 or so. And the head unit goes up to 60, but it sounds like crap after about 30. So 25. So I'll turn that up. I'll play my test tone with my multimeter hooked up. And I'm going to get a reading in voltage. You're going to take that voltage, and you're going to write it down, you know, write down a piece of paper, or what have you. So we'll do that. Now you need to figure out what your voltage is. Now voltage equals the square root of watts times ohms. So a simple mathematic equation there will give... So if you had a 2500 watt RMS amp at 2 ohms, you would take your 2500, multiply that by your ohms times 2, would give you 5000. Now the square root of 5000 is 70.7. So you'd want to set the gain on your amplifier using your DMM to match that voltage, 70.71. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that really quick. Take your screwdriver or whatever you use, and you're going to, with your multimeter hooked up, match the voltage reading you're getting on your probes hooked in your speaker terminals during that tone while that tone is playing you want to match with the gain turning it with the screwdriver what have you fingernail doesn't matter for the wind by the way and match that voltage that will allow the voltage to match and it won't cause any distortion distortion is caused from when you take your gain and you crank it past that voltage you're trying to exceed voltage in your amplifier from the front of the car. So now that you have that figured out, and generally with a daily setup like mine and like almost everybody else on Down for Sound and all the other guys out there on YouTube world, you don't need to have everything maxed out on a daily basis. Like mine, I have it set just a hair under my voltage that I got to match because the multimeter is probably off, give or take, maybe a tenth or two, and Really, it's not worth me blowing up a couple of expensive amplifiers for to being just a slight bit louder on a daily basis. All right, moving on. So I got a chart here I've been wanting to show you guys. And I don't have a macro lens, so it's going to be pretty hard to see. But your voltage that you have is represented. You have it figured out. That voltage that you got from your meter that you set your gain to. 70.71, let's say. Now, at that was at 2 ohms, so what we would do is we would find the voltage on the chart at 70.71, which for my example, at 2 ohms would mean that is a 5,000 watt output with 70.71. at 2 ohm. So, that's just a rough idea of your RMS wattage. 
which is really nice to figure out. Mine, in my case, in my setup, I got a reading at 2 ohm, because that's what I'm running my impedance at, was right around the 110, 112-ish mark. So according to the chart, that's going to be roughly 3,200 watts on the chart. So I'm running about a 3,200 watt system on a daily basis, which the amplifier was rated at 4,500 watt, but my gain's not cranked. Obviously, if I'm going to do an SPL run or something like that, I can turn up stuff and distort it for the time being. But for a daily basis, 3,100 watts is the way to go. So I already did mine. I've already had mine set. And I'm using strapped amplifiers, so it's a slight bit different. You'd have to disconnect uh, your speaker outputs on both amps. And you got to make sure that your strapping cable and your RCAs, if you use RCAs to strap, are properly hooked up. And you'd want to do a different calculation. But for the basic one amp setup, or even two amp setup that are separate, aren't strapped, this is how you would set your amplifier gain using the digital multimeter. Like I said, you want to account for maybe a few tenths um, leeway on the on the high side, so that you're not, you know, you're, you're basically playing the air here. And I mean, like I said, you're not going to really notice it by the ear. Here's a quick thing. This is a multimeter. This was designed by professionals to give pretty exact measurements of voltage, impedance, resistance. Okay, this, this is an ear, okay? That listens to 140, 150 dB levels of volume pretty frequently. It's pretty, it's probably damaged, probably not very sensitive. So if I go to turn this on with my ear, turn the gain up by ear, obviously that's not going to be good. Okay, so guys, use a multimeter. If you have an O-scope, you're really lucky, and I hate you. But, yeah, multimeter, I'll keep this under 7, 8 minutes or so. That's how you set your amps. If you have any questions, definitely send me a message. But for now, I'll be back with more DIY setups.